Evening everyone, my name's Nicholas, I'm the part-time thrifter, I ban this online and Amazon Nibu for profit. Uh, so today, first of all, let's start with really good news. We're currently on 8,000, sorry, 8,000, he says, he wishes, 864 subscribers and 1,630 followers on Instagram, which is fantastic. So we jumped about 10 subscribers on YouTube uh, last week. And it's been a really, really good Sunday. Yeah, I've not said really, really good for a long, long time, and this time I actually mean it. So... Let's see the orders that we've got. First one is this Ninjago set. Uh, I bought this for 65 quid from Argos over the weekend. Uh, and it actually I collected it yesterday and it sold today uh, for 105 quid, which is brilliant. So that gives me a tidy profit of 20 quid for this item. Uh, I did mention yesterday that I was going to be doing this background here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, life has got other plans for us, okay? And this is how I spent my saturday actually changing it trying to actually um put a spare tire in i've done it i know at least i know how to change tires now so that's one other thing i can actually add to my resume but it wasn't nice really i was driving for a good mile at four miles an hour trying to get home so i can actually change the tire luckily i wasn't in a motorway i wasn't too far from home in hindsight should i have actually stopped and changed it straight away maybe i should have done but i was in a dual carriageway and i don't think it was actually safe at the time to do so uh, but yeah, so at least now I know how to change the tire, but that was my Saturday, so this is why uh, I've not actually changed this. Uh, I'd, I'd actually had gone to Sainsbury's, and on the way out, getting to the carriage room, I listened to the noise, and, and it ends up basically being the flat tire. But yeah, it is what it is. Now, uh, this is definitely not how you should be running your eBay shop. So, first of all, uh, I've got one for let's see this one sold for 2.99 plus postage and i've got this one sold for 3.99 309 free postage okay now why should you not be running this uh, that your shop the way i'm actually saying so um obviously i've listed these using a one pound uh, listing weekend but what i didn't know i didn't know that at multiple if you've got listings with multiple items uh, on the same listing uh it's not actually uh, eligible uh, eligible for that promo code. So basically, I didn't have much uh, any fees because obviously I've not been selling anything on, on eBay. And I looked at my fees and they jumped up uh, to over 100 quid. And I was thinking, what have I done wrong here? And it turns out what I've actually done wrong is that I had these two Xboxes as uh, a multiple listing. So obviously, that's no longer eligible. Um, so what I did... I actually messaged the second person that bought the, um, the second person basically that bought this Xbox and I said to them, listen, I would like to put a picture up with an Xbox that you're going to receive that is not going to have a mark in front of it as this one has. Um, would you like, is it possible for you to cancel the order and then I release this one and I'll do free shipping. Now what I've done now, the reason as to why I've done that is because I saved myself 30 quid um, by doing that by using a promo code they offered exactly the same for this person here um she wasn't <laughs> she was, let's be honest uh why would you think it's quite weird to let, let's cancel the order and refund it um but she she just wanted to have it and she's going to get it as it is i'm maybe earning 10 quid profit which is silly really so 250 quid investment to get 10 quid it's, it's stupid, uh, but uh, I learned from mistakes, and that's really good, okay? I think if it was a smaller value item, I wouldn't have actually seen the difference on the PayPal fees, but because it was such a big difference of 30 quid per item, I was able to know, and now I'll make sure that whenever I'm listing with a one pound weekend, uh, that I'm actually doing it as different listings. So maybe, like, put a comment below if you actually knew about it. I didn't have a clue. So anyways, these two have actually sold, so we're at three uh, orders at this moment in time. Uh, I've got a total of nine orders. Uh, I've got some Alvin, so Alvin, sorry, some Aldi Kevin the Carrot. So Kevin the Carrot, so let's have a look what's sold. Uh, so Kevin the Carrot, so I've got one with the mum and dad, I think, I believe. So this one? No. Christmas tree decorations. Is it Christmas tree decorations? Let's have a look. Right. 
plush Christmas tree covers. So that's a soft toy, plush Christmas tree, plush Christmas tree decoration. That's the one. So uh, these have actually sold for $9.99 free postage. Uh, I thought they would do better, they didn't, so it is what it is. Uh, and then I've also got, I think I've sold, yeah, so these have sold for $12.99. Uh, each of them are, so, so seven quid, so five quid profit really on these. And we've got Wally, it's actually finally sold. Uh, so let's have a look if I can find Wally. Is he up there? Is he Wally? Right, so I remembered where Wally is. Get to see my lovely uh, office there. Wally is up here. Should be anyways. So just say Wally. Wally, yep. Yeah. What's in here? Nothing. Empty. Put it up. So Wally's in here. So Wally's actually sold for 15 quid plus three postage, uh, plus uh, three pound ten postage. And I've also got some nice RA items, which are these Lego Carnival, uh, sorry, uh, Nintendo Switch. So we've got one for 21 99 uh, there's actually two of them for 21 99 I'll make sure I take the, the sticker from the back of them. about an eight quid profit from these, from each of them. And then we've also got a really good sale. Uh, I think, I may have mentioned in my last video, uh, these Harry Potter books, uh, they've actually sold for a total of 36.99. Yes, yeah, so 36.99, really pleased with that. Um, I think the biggest thing is this Goblet of Fire with, with a mistake on a specific page uh, so they're going $36.99 very pleased with these uh, gonna sip them today uh, but yeah very very pleased with these items here really at this moment in time they say very pleased yes I am very very pleased so let's actually start packing some items and get them posted in uh, the Carnival Games We'll simply go on one of these, nice and super easy. They are postable. I'm gonna make sure that um, I also put a bit of eBay tape. Yes, I've not got a tape dispenser yet. Uh, I've just not found a decent one. If you wanna put a link below in the description, put a link below in the description, I'll find it, see if I can actually get one. Uh, we're on 74 grams. Same again for this one. Um, I've actually, I've had, I've had these for so long, these envelopes so long outside in the garage. Uh, where the adhesive's actually gone. So this is why I'm putting the eBay tape also on top of it. So, 74 uh, grams each of these. Uh, then we've actually got these. They're gonna go in a bag first of all, and then they're gonna go in one of those UPS boxes. In fact, I might actually use a different box. I've got so many boxes that I need to use. So first of all, they're going in Boxes that I need to use. It's probably gonna go in this Amazon box. This is the, a hard drive for my brother for his Xbox games. So I need to make sure that it works with the new uh, Xbox X series.
A lot of people will just polybag this and just send it as it is, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be happy if I received it in a polybag, so this is why I send it uh, in a box. And that weighs a total of 500 grams. Five hundred grams for us. Um, continuing with these two figures, they're going to go in a plastic bag and then again in a box. Yeah, so I've also not had a chance to look uh, the conformity issues with Amazon yet because so stressed after yesterday that proper annoyed me. Um, I think the biggest start also is that I didn't have a clue uh, how to actually change the tyre at the time. It's, it's actually quite an easy job. Uh, if you if you do it all the time, it is quite an easy job. Uh, I just didn't have a clue and I panicked. Uh, but anyway, it's just done now. Done and dusted for sure. Uh, right. Going to use this box. Actually, I might use this box for the Harry Potter books. Let's see what else we've got. Right, nice thin box. Ooh. That'll be going in. Might as well use a bit of foil fill. Get rid of it from the house. <laughs> it's got too much. a total of 470 this is the decorations don't know if you've noticed I've not started putting anything else any names on the other ones so close all right next we've got the Xbox uh, so one of the Xboxes just arrived, and one of these, so it's good enough for Amazon, it's good enough for me, nah, he says. Uh, what I'm going to do, can you see that? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to put a bit of bubble wrap all around it. One from Amazon. Oh, right. What have I done wrong here? Yes, I've packed it and everything, but we are sending quite a high value item. We are sending an Xbox One. So we need to actually make sure that 
take note and take a picture of the serial number before you send it. So I'm going to take a picture of the serial number. So I've got it. Just in case they send me something else back. Just took a picture of the sealer number. You never know, like, people are trying to scam you. Uh, plenty of scammers, but make sure you've got big items you're sending in. Make sure you have the, the barcode or for it. Right, so now we can actually use the eBay tape. And that's going to go with track 24. Which roughly at this moment in time cost me about six quid. Uh, so I'm going to put new, better, Xbox, and then that weighs a total of 3.7 kg. Another Xbox that we need to pack. Right, let's find a box for this Xbox, that's the problem here. Will we go on one of these? Yeah, it would go one of these, perfect. Or, yeah, will it? How can I get a better box? This is a thicker box, actually. Sorry, guys. I know it's not much uh, entertaining for you, um, but that's what you expect to be doing. If you're actually doing nine orders, you're supposed to make sure that you pack your nine orders and get there on time and get there safely. Uh, so I'm checking to see if that's fits it in here. Fits in nicely, so that's good. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing here, first of all, is I'm going to make sure that I put another piece of cardboard uh, underneath. So I'm going to put a second piece of cardboard just to make it stronger. Uh, he says, right, I've got one here. Just to make it stronger. Uh, just to make it stronger at the bottom for us. Again, we're going to put some bubble wrap. Again, I knew we got that right. So this is the other one. Barcode again. And I actually make sure that uh, I go and post these first thing in the morning so they go out in a day and the customer actually gets it. Because these these have got to be Christmas presents. They've got to be Christmas presents. So uh, I want to make sure that they get there on time. Yeah, 
there's too much bother up. So what I'm going to do, this is nice, and I'm going to put another piece of cardboard on top of it, um, which I should have somewhere. I did, but I think I probably got to mutilate a cardboard piece, cardboard box. I've already got some affection. Probably fast forward this uh, video a bit. Um, it's dragging, I think it's like 16 minutes long. I mean, the battery nearly is ready to finish, <laughs> so apologies. Uh, I will fast forward it for you. It's just been a good day. It's because I've listed on eBay, that's what it is. If you don't list, you don't sell. Simple as that. Imagine that weighs exactly the same, but again, we'll measure it. It weighs 3.8. And the last thing we've got for today, oh no, actually, sorry, we've got two things to actually do. Um, we'll do this books, these books even, not these books. Uh, let's see, what's the best way of doing these? So, potentially putting them in here. How many could I fit into one of these? I just don't want them to get damaged, okay? They are rare books, they are first editions, so the last thing I want them is to get damaged. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, okay, books, they are tough, yeah, but you need to make sure that you actually look after uh, the stock that you're sending in. So what I'll do is, I'm going to first of all put cellophane all around it. It's just one damage any of the pages, like that. Basically, I don't want the books to be opening.
that means the books are not opening now, yeah? There's no way they're going to open. Uh, let's see if they fit nicely in this box here. see the box should be able to see it now yeah uh, so they're in yeah they are in but we need to put plenty of oil through here because otherwise you're going to be moving all the way through here uh, so let's have a look we've got plenty of oil we can actually use which is amazing Pleased with this, even if I say so myself. Only reason as to why I'm doing this is because they are books, and I don't want it to get damaged by water. In the are Harry Potter books, which I love. So I wanted to get there in one piece. So I think you saw the video. Uh, I did actually pay. I pay up for the first edition was three quid each, but and I had one just lying around the house. So, I don't think 36.9 was not too bad. <sighs> right, that weighs a total of. Uh, oh, I'm all gonna love me tomorrow. 2.9, 2.9 kg. And this is Harry. Now, this is going to be the hardest thing to actually pack, I think, for us, because I've not got a box um, to fit it. Uh, it's this Lego Ninjago. It's lovely. But, dear me, it's massive. Uh, so I've not got a box that will just fit it just like that. So I'm afraid I've got to do a bit of uh, packing, a bit of packing management here for us. Sorry, guys, it seems like... Um, I stopped recording. Uh, I've wrapped. Oh, what a guy! So I've wrapped the stuff down there. Uh, it's all ready. The only thing I've got left here is this Ninjago. So I'm going to wrap this Ninjago too. I'm going to put a box within a box for us, and so is what that looks like. Uh, but I've only got about five percent of the thing in the camera. So well annoyed that again I didn't notice that it wasn't recording. What a guy. Right, so I'm gonna send I'm gonna put a picture up and see what this actually looks like. Um because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to record in this video. I've had a really really good um Facebook Marketplace collection too, which you'll be seeing also in the next video too. Thanks so much for watching everyone and as always keep thrifting.